Alright everyone, this is Falza and this is my Kevin Morales Club and Country Squad Builder. So pretty obviously it is Everton and Belgium. Kevin Morales arrives at Everton pretty recently and he's pretty OP on FIFA, I've got to say. What an amazing player. I'm just going to take him on manager out there, because, well, just to prove that it is 99 Kem. Um, I did previously record the audio for this, like, while I was recording the, um, the video, but um, that didn't really work out too well. So I've got to kind of, like, match up words with pitches here. So um, if I do make any mistakes, I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, we have Morales on this team. was a really, really good team. Um, at right forward, we had Seamus Coleman, who has 81 pace, 57 shooting, 72 passing, 75 dribbling, 70 defending, and 64 heading. He's absolute tank of a player. Scored 1 in 5, as you can see there. One of the best right forwards I've actually used on FIFA. His shot is fantastic, even though it only says 57. At uh, left forward, we had Shadley. Well, informed Shadley of FC20 and Belgium. 77 pace, 77 shooting, 76 passing, 80 dribbling, and 69 heading. You can probably tell this is more of a budget a budget squad builder. Um, but after this one, you'll be seeing a lot more well, higher priced ones. He wasn't as good as James Coleman, but still a, a pretty, 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 I'm not a parrot. Still a pretty good player. Um, so yeah, this, this, um... Actual builder will be in HD, but um, the footage won't be. So I think this will be the last squad builder I do um, with um, with the Roxio because I mean I'm just using past footage now. But um, so yeah, um, this is all new. Well, the builder's new footage, but um, all the goals uh, were recorded on the Roxio, so I'll get them out of the way, and then the next squad, squad builder you see. Will be in HD completely, and there we have Axel Witzel, 71 pace, 76 shooting, 80 passing, 85 dribbling, 74 defending, and 77 heading. As you can see, all stats over 70. Absolute tank there. Um, maybe I should go over to Kevin Morales' stats. 88 pace, 75 shooting, 76, uh, 67 passing, 85 dribbling, and 66 heading. Probably one of the best strikers I've used on FIFA. This was an actually amazing team, I've got to say. And the team after this I used was... Um, and EK in Spartak Moscow, so that's the next one you'll be seeing. But um, I'd, I'd be fair to say this team was a bit better. Even my right wing back was fantastic. You'll figure out who that is in quite a bit. And it may not be the person you expect. Anyway. A right centre mid pretty much looked like Axel, Vit Axel Vittel on the pitch. Um, I don't think he's got as good stats in my opinion though. 72 pace, 79 Passing, 67 shooting, 74 dribbling, 82 defending, and 83 heading. Sorry, I did them in an absolute retarded order. So, yeah, this, this is pretty budget. I mean, what I could have done is got Inform Fellaini, and is there an Inform Vitzel? I have no idea. But a left forward, I would have got Mertens. Um, so, I mean, I, I just wanted to... Actually, I wouldn't have got Mertens. Like a freaking Hazard, wouldn't I? I just wanted to make this a... An, a not too expensive team because prices were absolutely stupid then. But this is Pocognoli, left wing back, 81 pace, 62 shooting, 71 passing, 72 dribbling, 70 defending, and 68 heading. Again, one of the best, one of the best left wing backs I've actually used. He was absolutely amazing. I think he's been transferred to Hanover 96 now. He got sent off in his first match there, which isn't the best start, but there you go. At left centre back, we had Thomas Vermal in there. As you can see, Sangweni will be in one of our. One of our squad, well, I think in two squad builders, I don't know. And anyway, Vermal on 70 pace, 65 shooting, and I missed the rest of them stats. I I'm sure I'll, I'll go over them in a minute. But for Tongan, we had 70 pace, 67 shooting, 75 passing, 71 dribbling, 80 defending, and 82 heading. Um, I'll go back and check Vermal on stats now. we got 70 pace, 63 dribbling, 65 shooting, 71 passing. 83 heading and 85 defending. Um, this audio will be absolutely retarded here, but um, I'm so sorry about that. Awkward transition. Our right centre back, we did have Johnny Heitinger, who I think is pretty OP, but not in real life. 74 pace, 59 shooting, 74 passing, 53 dribbling, 79 defending, and 77 heading. With that pace, you cannot go wrong with a defender. Um, Jan Vertonghen, I was going to say, he's probably the most OP centre back on the game. If I did say that, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. Right wing back, we have Phil Neville. 54 pace, 55 shooting, 73 passing, 60 dribbling, 78 defending, and 72 heading. He was actually really, really, really amazing for me. Uh, it was between him and Tony Hibbert, and it's not hard choosing. Just, it's, it's just not. 
Um, Neville did score a nice goal, which really suited the, at the very end of the squad build. It was, it was, it was such a funny moment though, because I never expected him to score, and he scored well, a pretty nice goal, resulting from a corner. Um, in net we have Gile of Torino in Belgium, seventy nine diving, seventy five handling, seventy six kicking, eighty four reflexes, sixty speed on seventy seven positioning. Overall, pretty damn amazing stats. But um, some short range shots he did let in, which was a bit of a letdown. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little squad, and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the goals because they are nice goals, even if they're not in HD. So yeah, this has been Falza, and good yeah, enjoy. Goal, goal, deal with it. Phil Neville, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, backflip from Phil Neville there. Oh, I don't even care who's the front flip. I, I don't even know. I don't even know, but I just know Phil Neville scored. Well, watch this. Bang. Joe Art can't do anything. He's just not good enough for him.